All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Volkanovski is two years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding at a Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Malkachev. All right, for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we are back in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Truly an MMA hotbed. This UNSC arena has been a host to any number of different historical moments in the UFC and perhaps some more UFC history here tonight, Jim. And one of the biggest moments for women Brazilian fighters, Amanda Nunes, fought there and retained her title. Jessica Andrade knocks out World Number Nunes and becomes the UFC Broadway champion. This is a great arena for great fights and some of the best Brazilian performances were had in this arena. And now he's the got that toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. He 
jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's the nice point. Nice lead up. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Three minutes to go here, round one. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop them. You gotta defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still... This is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, <laughs> not letting anybody in. He's not trying to share this title reign. He wants to be the UFC champion for a long time, and with performances like this, it's hard to argue that anything is going to change.